Hello, it's Mr. Omari here. I thought we'd go through the four punctuation marks that you can use to close a valid sentence in English. Keep in mind that there are lots of things that we write in English, such as lists, headings, and sometimes just fragments of sentences which are not valid sentences. But these are the rules that apply to a valid sentence. There are 14 punctuation marks, um, the ones mostly used in English. There's the occasional, very rare, sort of 15th mark, but 14 which are in common usage, but only four of these can complete a valid sentence. The most common, of course, is the full stop. The shop is closed, full stop. That's a little dot, it goes hard at the end of the last word, and it says, this idea is finished. In American English, they put the same dots in between abbreviations and acronyms, so FBI, Mr and etc. would all get a dot in them in American English. In Australian English, however, we don't do this. We just put them together. We don't need the dot to say this is an abbreviation or some kind of shortening. We, um, we, it's not a convention in Australian English, so leave that out of your Australian writing. The next most popular um, end of a sentence is, of course, the question mark. You know, the shop is closed. And you don't have to have a what or where. You know, sometimes where is the shop and so forth. Um, even if it's implied by a where or what or who word, you still need the question mark on the end. Just one question mark is fine, and that makes it a question. It does get a little bit thaw um, thorny, because if you're asking a question that doesn't require an answer, such as, can you pass the sugar, and of course the answer is yes, you don't actually need a question mark, but you might choose to put it in there as a writer. A question mark suggests a question that needs an answer. A question which is really a statement pretending to be a question actually doesn't need a question mark, but that's up to you as a writer to kind of work out what you intend. <coughs> The next one is the exclamation mark for excitement or shouting. So, you know, the shop is closed. It might be shouting, it might be excitement. In informal writing, people, and sometimes for little kids, they'll write it in capitals. Or they'll use a bunch of exclamation marks. You see people do this online. This is fine in your informal writing, but in your formal writing, one exclamation mark is fine. You don't need to use a string of them, you don't need to use capitals. In fact, I'd say avoid it in your formal writing. The last one is the least common and it's called an ellipsis. And it implies a kind of trailing off at the end of the sentence. The shop is closed and that kind of hangs there. You can actually do this to trail off an invalid or an incomplete sentence, or you can use it at the end of a complete sentence. It's up to you. In this particular context, I'm using it at the end of a complete sentence. Um, some people think that the, just call it dot dot dot, or it's three full stops. It's not. The ellipsis is actually its own punctuation mark. It's not just three full stops in a row. It's quite a different function than a full stop. And the last thing to remember is in your formal writing, just use one of these punctuation marks. So one ellipsis, don't put four dots or six dots. It doesn't make it hang anymore. Just three dots for the ellipsis, a question mark, an exclamation mark or a full stop, that's all you need. So there's your basic primer to how to use those punctuation marks to end your sentence.